working on a new approach to homelessness, and an end of summer event rooted in local tradition. All here on Seattle News Now. Hello, I'm Brian Callanan. Local leaders are working out the details of a new regional homeless system. At a recent King County Regional Policy Committee meeting, details about the new homeless authority, including its $110 million budget, were revealed. The authority would be made up of a five-person steering committee of elected officials who would select an 11-person governing board of experts. A 2018 report commissioned by the city and King County said the structure of our homeless system was ineffective. Expect to see more movement at the county level on this issue in early September. The Seattle City Council is getting closer to passing legislation to extend new protections and rights to hotel workers. The council is looking at four bills covering issues from health care to safety procedures. These measures cover what was contained in the voter-approved Initiative 124, which was thrown out by the State Court of Appeals, but now faces a hearing in the State Supreme Court. Watch for another City Council hearings on those hotel worker bills September 5th here on the Seattle Channel. Drivers on the new Highway 99 tunnel will start paying tolls on November 9th at 5 a.m. Originally, the tolls were supposed to be in place this summer, but problems with the new customer service system push that back to the fall. Weekday tolls will peak from 7 to 9 a.m. at $1.50 and from 3 to 6 p.m. at $2.25. Weekend tolls will be $1. Drivers without a good-to-go pass will pay an extra $2 per toll. Our state has joined 19 others and the District of Columbia in suing the Trump administration over detaining migrant children. The U.S. has operated under a court decision known as the Flores Agreement since 1997, which says migrant children should be detained in the least restrictive system for about 20 days. The Trump administration plans to detain children and their families indefinitely. The states claim the federal government is putting the health and safety of children at risk and violating the Due Process Clause of the U.S. Constitution. The lawsuit is the 47th against the Trump administration, either led or joined by Washington AG Bob Ferguson. Say aloha to the Hawaiian Cultural Festival, a free event at Seattle Center on Sunday, September 8th. The Live Aloha Festival will share Hawaii's cultural roots and contemporary influences through music, hula, ono food, workshops, and more. And local artist Susan Lori Parks is taking over Town Hall in Seattle on Saturday, September 7th. The Pulitzer Prize winning playwright is inviting you to take part in an interactive creative event called Watch Me Work. Parks will also give a talk about her writing and perform with her band that evening. All the events are free. Finally, help beautify Volunteer Park on Capitol Hill at Restoration Day. Join friends and neighbors to pull weeds, remove invasive plants, and more. Gloves, tools, and donuts and coffee will be provided at the free event, which runs from 10 to 2 on Sunday, September 22nd. To learn more about any of the stories you've seen here, log on to seattlechannel.org slash seattlenewsnow. I'm Brian Callanan, and I'll see you next time on Seattle News Now.